A project nearly 50 years in the making is finally getting off the ground and into the waters of Grand Marais Harbor. But there are new worries tonight about the Army Corps of Engineers keeping their end of the bargain. TV6's Eric Kane has this update in our Up Close report. Nearly three weeks ago, construction crews began placing thousands of tons of rock into the south end of Grand Marais Harbor. Once the rock is shipped in, it's brought out on this barge here, and then it is placed into the breakwater, which is about 10% completed. But now a new problem has cropped up. The Army Corps of Engineers is working to bolster the current dilapidated breakwater, but it's suspending that project indefinitely. Lieutenant Colonel Mike DeRosier. It appears that we got ahead of ourselves a little bit. And I, I wanted to, uh, to suspend that process uh, to ensure that we, we, we give this project uh, the correct level of, of review and the right look before we move forward. Bird Township Supervisor Jack Hubbard has spent almost six years jumping through state and federal hoops to get funding for a new breakwater, and this latest delay has him furious. Extremely frustrated. If they're not going to do that project, we have to figure out what we're going to do here to have some integrity on this end of the structure. Despite the setback, Hubbard is trying to stay upbeat. Sometimes you look at it and you laugh, and other times you look at it and you've got tears running down your face because... Uh, you know, the fact remains, I, I put my heart and soul in this project. I worked really hard on it, and uh, it wasn't something that was easy to do. And, and the many people in the community feel the same way. They all stood behind me. Uh, a lot of people worked, worked on this project. The completed breakwater will create a refuge for boaters and swimmers, potentially boosting tourism in the area. For now, the community of Grand Marais eagerly awaits to bridge the divide later this summer. Eric Kane, TV6 News, Grand Marais.